Hey guys, it's Sam with Simply Organized and welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I've shared a video. I have been swamped, super busy, but I'm here today and we're gonna talk about my organized refrigerator and freezer. So why exactly am I talking about the inside of my refrigerator and freezer? I share on occasion a photo of my organized fridge with my Instagram community. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should be because we have way too much fun over there for you to be missing out. I am at Simply Organized on Instagram, so come and join us. Anyway, when I share a photo of the inside of my refrigerator, I get a ton of questions. Where's the milk? Why are you prepping your vegetables like that? Where did you get those containers? The questions really never end, and so I figured, why not share a video? where I can not only, you can not only see the inside, but you can ask me any questions you want in the comment section and I can answer it for you. There's gonna be more videos to come in this series because meal planning and meal prep and organizing your fridge, freezer, pantry, they're all really important. These are, this is a space that you're touching and living in many times during the day. Um, so we're gonna talk about stuff like how to simplify meal prep, how to even come up with your plan for the week or if you wanna plan for a couple weeks at a time. We're gonna talk about the, my favorite containers. Talk a little bit about how to get organized with your meal planning in Evernote. I'm a new Evernote community leader and the platform is perfect for organizing recipes digitally. Maybe you wanna keep your calendar in Evernote so that when you're at the grocery store, you're never gonna be without your plan or your list. We might also talk a little bit about meal prepping for kids because meal prepping for kids is really easy. Kids generally gravitate to the same meals all the time, so they're the simplest group to plan for, in my opinion. I get a lot of questions about my refrigerator, and the truth is it's really nothing fancy. I don't have one of those French door refrigerators. I have a tiny refrigerator that was intended to fit into a 1960s sized kitchen because that is what I'm living in. It's an LG model. And I think the reason I get so many questions about that fridge is simply because of the way it's organized on the inside. It doesn't matter what type of refrigerator you have. If you have the right containers and you're planning for your week correctly and things are prepped and put away, in a certain way, it's going to look spacious and big and you're gonna be able to find everything, but you don't need a big fancy French door refrigerator to have a beautifully organized refrigerator. So there's that. What we are talking about today is the inside of my refrigerator. So let's have a look. Okay guys, here is the inside of my refrigerator. So pretty. Let me give you a quick breakdown. I'm meal prepping right now for some high intensity training I'm doing. These are my meals that I prepped. Um, I prep out my meals and I'll go into more detail in a different video about meal prepping, but I only prep out my meals for probably two-ish days and then I will make more meals for myself and put them in here. Um, one of the reasons is because of space. The other reason is I don't freeze my meals so I, and I don't want them to go bad. Meals, I bought these containers at Target. They were very inexpensive. These are Ziploc brand. Some quinoa tucked into the back there along with some cut up limes and lemons. Um, dairy. Um, should always be kept in the refrigerator and not in the door. These containers here are unfortunately being discontinued, I believe. I found these three years ago at my local grocery store. They were on sale in the food storage aisle. Um, they are Ziploc brand Versaglass. I love them and I am so sad that Ziploc has decided to discontinue you can find some of them on Amazon, but they are ridiculously expensive because they are being phased out. What I love about them is that they can go in the oven, the microwave, the dishwasher, and I just serve them these three containers of vegetables. I can just pull them right out of the fridge, put them on 
the kitchen table and my kids can eat right out of them. them. And you can, however, find other square type glass containers. Um, you don't have to purchase these. And I will link to a few of those at the bottom of this video. My number one tip as an organizer, because I do also help families organize refrigerators and freezers, try to only use either rectangle or squared containers, not round, because round is going to waste space. Moving on here, I have um, in my little dairy section, I have hard boiled eggs, shredded cheese, sliced cheese, deli meat. I have some quesadillas in the back. My kids love to have cheese quesadillas for snacks or dinner. Um, kale. This is my next round of chicken that's ready to go. It's just seasoned with a little bit of garlic, lemon pepper ready to go. I have my sweet potatoes already cooked and ready. In the back I have some grapes and that is pesto pasta in the very back that I made for my 12 year old who loves it. Um, in the drawers down here at the bottom, this is where I keep my overflow vegetables that are not prepped yet. Vegetables are easy to make. Um, they don't take much time. So for example, these broccoli, this bag of broccoli, all I have to do is steam it. it takes three minutes. Zucchini, cucumbers, celery, asparagus, salad makings, it's all right here, ready to go. Does not necessarily need to be prepped. Um, I keep things pretty simple over here. Um, you know, the other reason that I love to have everything in containers in my fridge is it makes clean up every week so simple. All I have to do is wipe down the shelf and because everything's been contained there's not really been any spills or much to wipe up there's not a lot of crumbs I really love that a lot of questions about um, prepping vegetables and how long they last this is probably about two days worth of sliced cucumber I think there's three cucumbers in here total we are going to go through that in probably two days because I eat them as snacks. The kids eat them as snacks. I throw them in salads, um, bell peppers. There's probably just two that I cut up in here. Um, definitely don't cut up, you know, enough vegetables for the week. I would cut up as much as you think you're going to need for a day or two. If it makes sense, if it's something that's going to go bad on you, then definitely don't chop up so many that they're gonna go bad before you have a chance to eat them. These mini carrots will last a week in this container. I don't have to worry about those going bad. I don't typically wash my um, strawberries or raspberries, blackberries, um, until we're about to eat them. These blueberries have been rinsed and are sitting in here. I just wanted to get them out of the plastic container once they were rinsed. We are gonna go through those. Those will be gone by tomorrow. In my freezer, I keep things simple. Some frozen vegetables ready to go. One of my tips that I'd like to share with you is whenever possible or whenever it makes sense, try to get rid of your packaging. Again, if it makes sense, do that. For example, your frozen breakfast items, especially for your kiddos, like frozen waffles, frozen pancakes, French toast sticks, things like that. You probably already know how to make those. You don't need to keep it in the box. This handled basket, which comes from the container store and I will link to it at the bottom of this video. Um, this is containing right now five different breakfast items. I have gotten it out of the box into this basket that we can just pull out in the morning to make breakfast. It's super easy. I have some extra vegetables in this one. I have some bread products, um, frozen pretzels that my kids like to have as snacks. In this one, there's more breakfast items. Getting everything out of the box just helps keep everything organized. The box isn't getting soggy. You know, you're taking it in and out. It's gonna get wrinkled. It's going to get torn up. It's, um, this just, it really is a better use of space when you get stuff out of the box. Okay guys, that was it. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing the interior of my refrigerator and freezer. 
Please, please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I will answer. And don't forget to please come and join me over on Instagram. We have a great community of almost 90,000 friends over there. Would love to have you join us. And then you get more of a behind the scenes of my day to day projects that I'm working on with clients. And um, I also occasionally will do an Instagram live video from location or here at my house talking about topics like this. Thanks for watching and I'll look forward to sharing another video real soon. Bye guys.